Hi, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech tonight. I was going to do a video on maxi jets, but before I do that, I'm just going to say hopefully this one will be sh this video will be shot in HD. I don't know why the last one something I did when I uploaded it and recorded it didn't shoot it in HD. So hopefully this will be. I put the highest frames per second and all that good stuff on there. Okay. Anyways, maxi jets. I actually made this video and it messed up so I have to do it again but I had actually just bought this stuff today and so I could do a perfect unboxing but of course it didn't work out so but either way everything's right here exactly how it'll come so today we're gonna do maxi jets and I also have the eco mod that we can cover too which basically it converts it to a propeller system slash uh, water circulation pump or whatever you want to call it that's what I call them. I don't call them power heads. I call them circulation pumps or current wave makers, whatever you want to call it. All right, wave makers are a little bit different, but I'll get into that. Anyways, um, this one right here in particular, if you have to know, is a Maxi Jet 600. I just got this because a small one because I just need it to power my UV sterilizer. So, anyways, uh, we'll jump right in. This will be an unboxing too. Uh, you'll have. Oh, by the way, on the box, there's nothing really special about the box. I mean, it tells you what it comes with. But what the, what is kind of cool is it shows a couple uses for you. Gives you a couple ideas of what you might want to do for when you use it, which is kind of cool. All right. And then the first thing that came to mind was this black tube for your aeration valve. Your parts kit. Your instruction manual, which is nice and laminate, uh, laminated. I like that. Okay. And then your actual power head, all right? You don't need this. I'm going to put it right here. So, Anyways, um, for the Maxi Jets, uh, awesome pump. Uh, they're, they're really awesome. Um, you can use them internally or externally. Um, they will work for most application though. I will say they are not as adaptable as the Rios when it comes to intake use. They don't come with as many attachments and they kind of, uh, you know, they, they just kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but they're, uh, the, it doesn't come, I don't know how to say it, but it kind of, you can't just like put them at the bottom of the tank either like you can Rios. I, I don't know how to. I really have to do a whole other video on that, but they're but just in general, they're not quite as adaptable as the Rios. I'm not saying they're not adaptable because they are in general, but not as adaptable as the Rios. But you get good and they're they're, they're really cheap, and you get pretty good performance out of them. Um, and also, of course, you got like the option of like the Eco Mod, which is a great choice to have down the line, especially if you're ever doing a salt water tank, um, or need just need circulation. All right. Because those propeller systems are really expensive. And then the other good thing is that they are they can be used internally or externally. This thing right here, the impeller cover, I guess that's what you want to call it. I'll get into it why this makes this pump so special. But in general, this pump is just a great pump. You will probably will never have a problem with it. Super reliable. Will probably fit most of your needs. Um come with most things you'll ever want and uh, uh, we'll jump right into it okay so actually you know what before I start showing you the parts I'll take it apart for you real quick all right I'm trying to do this quick fit it on YouTube because there's a lot to cover here on these maxi jets all right first you've got your top here you don't really need to open this for anything it's just your uh, epoxy or whatever you want to call it and it's the motor sealed in there just like on the Rios or the AquaClears or any other power head except I don't think you can open the AquaClears and then you twist this off you twist your little impeller cover off just like you would with uh, pretty much any other power head there's not all of them but and then there's two open slots and then there's two notches and you just pull it off when you hit that point you know this twist all right and inside you've got your motor, you just Q-tip this out. Other than that, don't really need to worry about it. And then you've got your intake output piece and you've got your impeller. Now I don't feel like taking this off, and you don't really have to take it off, but uh, 
this one's attached to it and you know you just want to want to clean your uh what's it called your uh impeller here for regular maintenance okay and right here what's on the impeller this impeller cover is pretty much what makes this maxi jet so useful at least to me because it this is what lets it do an external pump okay this is why the rios can't be used as an external pump because this part right here is actually sealed to the power head or the pump Oops. and so you can have an inlet right there and then an outlet here and as you can see it's completely sealed and the impeller is right here so I mean it's it, you'll see that same exact shape on any pretty much any of those other utility pumps is the same exact shape of course it'll be much bigger than this on there but you'll see that exact same shape okay and of course they're called utility pumps because they're utilities yeah <laughs> what are we going to say they're they're useful so um same goes with this all right and i'll show you what it comes with now here's the bracket for it it actually had doesn't come with the suction cups attached but like i said i just tried making this video and uh it didn't work so but here's your bracket with the impellers or um, <laughs> not impellers your suction cups then you got your aeration valve and one thing i'll show you with the aeration valve real quick is it, you can't just connect it to the black tube right off the bat. There's an adapter in here, and you plug the adapter into the intake, or I'm sorry, not the intake, the, the aeration valve here. You'll plug it into the valve, and then you plug the other end into the actual uh, tube, okay? And then that's how it works, okay? And of course, you can uh, you know do your little adjustments right there for the aeration, and then that there's another and then there's a special piece in here for the aeration that attaches oh. alright there's a special piece that attaches from here to the uh, fr fr from the pump and then you use that to plug into your uh, thing here I think there's also a dab for that here there's, an, there's another end of the adapter here, and you plug that into the hose, and then you plug that into there, I think, right? Yeah, there it goes. Okay. And then that's how you have your aeration set up, okay? And then also, like you've seen in the pictures, it comes with one of these duck bills, dovetails, whatever you want to call it. There's two hooks on there. You can't miss them. So just make it, that's sure that's the right end. And that's just like it has in the pictures, and you can adjust it up, down, whatever. If you're not using aeration, you can even turn it upside down and use it like that. Okay? Or you can just, you know, reattach that, I think. And then it comes with this clear piece. Don't miss it. I don't know if you can see that. And that goes into the aeration part, and you use that to plug it. Okay? At least that's what I used it for. I didn't really read the directions on it, okay? <laughs> So, and then you've got your uh, little hangy thing. Uh, I forget what the name for this is. You've got another little adapter piece for your uh, adapter. Uh, your, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, whatever. It's it's, it's for your uh, little attachment piece. And then uh, something on my elbow. There it is. Okay. And then you've got your main adapter for your intake. And basically, it comes in two pieces with the strainer and the adapter, and you just, boop, connect them on, and then that just obviously connects onto your intake just like that, okay? And then you have another intake piece, which is this piece right here. This is, it says it's, you're supposed to use it if you're using this, a sponge pre-filter. But, of course, you don't have to be using it, and you just attach it on just like that, okay? And then you just got a couple, another piece for your, uh, I'm sorry, to mount your uh, your aeration thing. And uh, this is to hold the uh, tube for the aeration thing on here, all right? So, as you can see, it doesn't come with many attachments. It doesn't have adjustable flow. Um... 
But what is good is you can direct the flow, which is okay. You know, this definitely helps. Um, it's not the best out there. Um, but the, the Maxi Jet will definitely get you through for most of your needs, okay? The, I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't want to call it the premium, uh, the, the, the most premium uh, power head, but it's definitely a very utilitarian uh, pump, so I definitely like them. Uh, I haven't used them very thoroughly. I usually don't mind spending the extra money for something else, but sometimes uh, it, uh, the duty just calls for a maxi jet, and this is what happens to be the case. So I'm not saying that they're that they're horrible pumps or anything, or that they're even bad for that matter. I'm just because I mean, I mean they're excellent. I mean for most people, especially if you're out there on a budget, these things are freaking amazing. All right. I'll tell you any day to go out and get one of these if you have an external and internal use for it, alright? Anyways, so in conclusion, I'll advise it to you. has most everything you'll need, um, and you can use it internally or externally, which will save you bucks oh plenty. Alright? So, now I'll show you how to do this eco mod, which will save you even more money, okay? Especially if you want to do a propeller system. Well, I mean, this is a propeller system. I mean, if you're just looking to make a current maker, okay? Now, first warning I will give you is do not use these for wave makers. It even says it on a sticker on here, okay? I don't know if that was done by my store or not, but don't use them for wave makers because on the, the, the way that the, uh, imp the actual propeller is sealed to the propeller shaft, when you have a wave maker, it keeps going on and off, on and off real quick. And I think some of them even go backwards and forward or something like that. You know, constantly. And that constant thing will actually rock it off. And you'll basically end up breaking your mod. So, and I know it voids your warranty. I know that for sure. So, do not use these for wave making, okay? But for current make, you know, you don't need a wave maker for your saltwater tank. You know, a current will do just fine as long as you have it placed well. But anyways, to make to use this mod, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take out your impeller and your top assembly. You're gonna take this out. It comes with a piece to put on the top of your pump. Or your power, yeah, your actual pump, so it'll you can stick it to your glass pretty easily. And then it comes with your impeller, and just make sure it's placed in the correct place in the middle of the uh, output here. And then you just put it in where the original one went, and you just slide it onto the notches on here like the original one went. And it looks exactly like that. And then you just put your your uh, piece on here so you can mount it into your tank like you want to and then you just slide your bracket like this this is how you've seen everybody's on YouTube's probably if you've ever looked at these sometimes it's a pain in the ass to get this bracket on and then it looks like that okay and then see it's nice and you can mount it anywhere alright so overall if you ask me if this powerhead's a good deal and it's a good powerhead, tell you yes any day of the week. All right, tons of people use them. You can ask them too. And I, I mean, this this modification, I don't have too much experience with this, but I can tell you I've been satisfied with it so far. All right, and I believe you can use it on any of the maxi jets because I mean, this one says it's made for the twelve hundred, but this is working for a little six hundred. All right. Alright, I guess that's about it for the video. Alright, thanks guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Alright?